Okay guys, so now to the challenge part. Um, we're going to create basically, a, this number's weird, so we're going to say a $2,000 challenge, right? But I want it to be $2,100 because of shorting. All it does is take, it can literally take you, if you, you have to have a $2,000 account in order to short. So say you go short one time and it ends up being the wrong trade to take. And you white and you can't short again until you get back up to two thousand dollars. Doesn't matter if you're at nineteen ninety nine point nine nine; they're not going to allow you to. You have two thousand dollars. So, with that being said, um, I am going to use E Trade, which you guys know I already do do use E Trade. So that that's pretty familiar with me. Um, some of the challenges that I'm going to get used to again because I'm not used to this is the PDT rule. So instead of actually still having, instead of doing daily recaps kind of like I do, I can still do that on the days I trade. But we're going to also incorporate more lessons. So basically how you deal with PDT rule, um, implementing swing trades to grow your account a little faster, more long, more it's more long term to me because again I'm used to in and out and being done for the day but a swing trade would be two three days so that would be that feels like more long term yes that will probably add stress to me but that's just me personally because I like being in and out I like knowing I have my profits and we're done there but those are just a couple of challenges that we're gonna have um, I chose to do it on E-Trade instead of on Robinhood now you guys can still use Robinhood, whatever broker you guys want to use. Completely understand that. Um, Robinhood, my only thing is, I tried this before, and I got so aggravated with Robinhood, not filling my orders correctly or saying that my orders were canceled for no reason. So basically what I'm doing is I've eliminated Robinhood out of my life, even though they did just start the cryptocurrency. But... I didn't trade today just because I've been getting everything ready for this. Um, I didn't feel that great this morning after my 21st birthday, but that's okay. I still didn't take a trade today because of all that. I'm just basically busy. Um, tomorrow I will be trading again, unless you guys know my golden rule. If there's really no trade to be made, don't force it. So I could end up not taking a trade tomorrow. But basically... $2,100 and we're going to see how far we can grow it. So basically, I've already done this once in life. Two years ago, I blew I blew up part of that account and then I had to basically reset my mind. Like I had to go back to the drawing board. Had to figure it out. And that's why I like teaching you guys from my mistakes. Because again, I started on Robin Hood and then I realized it's, it's trash. It really, really is compared to when you go to an E-Trade and how quickly they fill and all your orders and stuff like that it's, you don't want to go back once you do that and that's why it's hard to use an e-trade account when you have five hundred dollars don't get me wrong some people start there some people it works and i understand where robin hood would be something that you want to do for that but e-trade is definitely going to be where i'm going to trade for this i already trade there it's just easier for me so I already got an account set up, $2,100 in it, and basically, with my schedule now, I'll basically be trading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday more than likely, just to kind of stay on a base, like have a schedule, because if you trade Monday, Wednesday, Friday, one week on the PDT rule, and then the next week you trade Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to catch up to you, and you're going to get, what I don't know, it's penalized for 90 days or something like that. I've seen a lot of people have it done to them, and that really does suck, where it basically becomes a swing trade. So, with that being said, we're not going to try to do that. Sorry guys, thirsty. But $2,100 and see how far we can grow it in 2018. That is the big picture. We don't want to just make money we want to make it consistently and it doesn't matter if you don't make seven percent twenty percent one day 
small base hits is what's going to make you all the money. And trust me on this. I've been here. I mean, I'm living it. Is you, you don't make all your money off of home runs. Yes, home runs are nice where you make ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars and a week. That's awesome. It doesn't happen very often, but that's awesome. So we're going for when you first start out twenty one hundred dollars and making three to five percent every day until you start start to grow. I mean, plan your trades. Sometimes you may make 20%. Those are awesome. But again, I want to average around 7 to 10% per day. And don't get me wrong, I'm going to have trades where I lose. I'm going to have trades where I only make 3 to 5%. And I feel like that but I feel like that 5 to 7% is like my bread and butter. It's very possible with any stock, so that's what we are going to do. That's what we're going to aim for. Um I think I'm going to have a spreadsheet for everybody that joins with me. All you're gonna, it's basically going to be a Google Drive link, and you click on it, and you can download it, and basically follow along with me. And it'll give you a principal amount, and I should have all the commissions inside of it, but we'll work on that. Um, but with that being said, I'm ready to do this challenge with you guys, um, starting it on Monday. First day of the week that I can trade for PDT rules since I got this account set up. Um, today's Thursday, so you guys have time to get your setup. You can wire in money. You can do all of that. Um, I hope to just get more and more people on here helping each other. And eventually, what we'll do with my channel is we'll create a chat room off of it and all help each other because the stock market is a huge community of people. And why not help each other? I mean, yes, everybody loses at some point, but again, it's minimizing those losses and then having bigger or having more singles and more doubles than trying to knock out. The people that lose a lot are the ones that end up trying to hit home runs every day. And it's, I guess it may be possible, but it's unrealistic. And that's a big thing. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video or tomorrow's lesson, depending on what's going on. But I hope you guys join this challenge. If you guys are joining this challenge, and I'm going to take you guys along with me for my whole ride again, comment below saying, I'm in, and we're going to start doing this. And I'm going to reply to every comment, guaranteed, that comes up on this. And if you're new to trading stocks, feel free to contact me on Facebook, all those Instagram, all those links are below and I'll talk to you. Um, I got some time tonight where I can reply to comments and then tomorrow I have class and I'm gonna start trading or I'm gonna trade one last time hopefully on my other account and then we're gonna start with this one. So with that being said smash that thumbs up button if you guys want to follow along with this subscribe and hit the notification bell on it so you guys know when I upload videos on this challenge. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Let's go.